And when I say we're living inside the matrix, I'm not stating that with irony or as a joke, or I don't want you to use it as an example of how the world could be. We are genuinely actually living inside of the matrix. The matrix is real and I am Morpheus. That schools across the UK are in crisis as the effects of online influencer Andrew Tate's vile misogyny infiltrates our classrooms and society. Teachers are now having to develop their own resources to re educate boys who are being brainwashed online by his deeply toxic messaging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Prime Minister has been too slow to recognise this damage this is causing. What has he done? What is his government doing to tackle this misogyny, this incel culture, and the radicalisation of young men in this country? And will he commit to giving teachers the resources that they need to address this problem head on? Yeah. If you have a message for Andrew Tate, what would it be? Life's too short to be as negative as you are. Spread some positivity, bro. Like, for real. Well, you know, I hope he spends a lot of time in a jail, and I hope he gets every day in the shower. Wonderful. F you. So, unsubscribe from Andrew Tate. I don't know what you're doing. Women are smarter in every way, honestly. Do you know who Andrew Tate is? Yeah. Do you like him? Nope. Wait, why? He's too masculine. What are the bad things that he says? He's literally a misogynist because he's violently misogynist. Can you give me an example? <laughs> you agree? Yes. Do you know who Andrew Tate is? I do. Do you like him? No. But he said that. Really? Yeah. So you agree with him? No. So you agreed at first and when you heard his name, you don't agree anymore? Yeah. The controversial social media influencer Andrew Tate has been arrested in Romania on suspicion of human tra trafficking, rape and forming an organised crime group. They're being detained for something they've not they're being detained done without evidence. A relationship now, bro. I talk to him every day. And what do you think about him being cancelled? I think you'll win anyway. Being attacked is a sign of, of greatness. I feel like if you get attacked, that means you're doing something so big that people feel like they want to stop you. Last night we went to Tate's house. Phenomenal experience. Super hospitable, humble guy. Honestly, I was very impressed. Very down to earth. He was a great host. Like he was asking us, "Hey, are you guys enjoying the night?" So yeah, I honestly had a great experience. He was really polite in person. I didn't expect him to be, like you said, so smiley. Um, very warm. Met in Romania in Bucharest through a mutual friend and we all went out for dinner together. We had a really nice intellectual conversation. He wasn't rude to me, he wasn't inappropriate with me. I actually, I liked him a lot. He's smiley, he's friendly, he's got high energy. He's a gentleman. You know, it sucks to, to see some of your best friends get just completely slandered. I was in Romania hanging out with the Tate brothers. I spent a significant amount of time with them. And what I want to say is, these guys are the furthest thing from criminals. They're the furthest thing from human traffickers. A genuine bond and friendship with him, and people really like don't understand that. Like this happening, this all happening, it actually like affects me because it's like that's my friend. These guys are the These furthest thing from the criminals. They're the furthest thing, thing from, from human traffickers. Thing. Was it meeting Andrew Tate? He was a very nice person. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. I had him here on the podcast. Yeah, yeah. Generous, uh, polite. I know Tristan and Andrew pretty well personally, and what I can say about them is that they are the sweetest, the smartest, and most respectful people I know. I had lived with Andrew for years and years, and he would never do anything like this. I've known Andrew Tate since 2013. He's always been nice to me. Paid for a guy whose, whose daughter had cancer, whose daughter's been really, really ill, they've been struggling, and he paid for two weeks for him to go to Disney World. You don't hear that. Me and oh, fuck off. That's not team captain. You've said enough. Go. Yeah. So nice. But yeah, he was really nice. He made it everyone around him is making it. You can't see anyone who stuck to him and with true friends and stuff. I mean they even tried to bribe us some of the girlfriends and stuff and no one tells anything. I was lucky enough to have met this man and I can say that the person that I was supporting through a screen turned out to be exactly as I expected in person. I just had such a positive experience. I have absolutely nothing negative to say, so I think he is an absolute genius. I think he's a beast. I like what he's doing and more power to him to make his money. Andrew Tate is a good friend of mine. He's such a nice man. He's very generous. He's always been respectful of me and others in my team. His confidence, he's very good at building business. He's proven it. He's made himself extremely rich doing it. A lot of what he says about masculinity and stuff, I, I completely would sign up to actually. Yeah. Andrew is a great friend. He's a great guy. He would never hurt 
Tariq's a good friend and brother to me. Muslim brother and a good friend. I've known him 15, 16 years, maybe longer. For me, it's complete bullshit. Did you hurt any girl? Of course not. If I There's no evidence in my file, so there's nothing wrong. 